Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're going to be taking Colossus into the Micro Realms. This is Variant 2, Mystery in the Micro Realms. And the path that I chose is a Crumbling Armor path. So with Crumbling Armor, as we'll see in a moment here, basically if you do not attack them after a while, you're going to get an Armor Break. However, Colossus is immune to armor break and armor shatter as long as it's not a tech champion that he is facing. Now, Variant 2 also has these globals that you're looking at. The significance of the global for Colossus, Colossus is a large champion, not extra large. So that means that his normal attacks can be glanced, and when they're glanced, he will take damage. Now, I am running suicides. Uh, you saw there I started off with a mistake. Uh, just getting used to uh, Varian again, but in this particular uh, quest, what you want to do, if you're a large champion or below, you want to parry heavy. That is what you want to do, because heavy attacks cannot be glanced, no matter what your size is. All right. Now, because he's large, his special attacks can also not be glanced. And you saw how he was able to just wreck. All right, so that, what you saw there, that first fight, is pretty much what you're going to see throughout this quest. Colossus, in order to do the damage that he does, uh, you want to preferably parry heavy, and then when you build up to a special two, you want to parry heavy and then fire off the special two in the middle of the heavy. So you want to interrupt your heavy because when you parry heavy, you see that fury up there, it only lasts for a little bit. So if you do that and then interrupt and fire off your special two, you'll get the benefit of that fury. So your special two will hit much harder. Now I'm running suicides. So that changes up my play style a little bit here. So because I run suicides, I don't want to fire off a lot of specials. If I weren't running suicides, I would fire off special ones more often with Colossus to build up his armors. That's going to build up his damage. But since I am running suicides, I really don't want to fire off specials if I can help it, but Colossus he does his damage, his most damage, with that special two after you do the parry heavy. So what that means is I'm going to take damage because I'm running suicides. I'm going to take damage. I'm going to have to heal up just to be safe. But hopefully you'll be able to see what Colossus is capable of. Now, I also went in with an Omega Red. I only have a four star and a Juggernaut on the team. That increases his damage per armor stack. All right, take a look at the synergy he gets from them. So it's doing a lot more damage. Now, something that I was talking with uh, one of the guys in my Alliance chat about, he has Colossus ranked up as well. And he did a test. Uh, in my previous video of Colossus, I went up against that Crossbones in 6.1.5. But I had my suicides on, of course, so I couldn't uh, fight the way that I would fight without suicides, which would be building up the armors with that special one. I also did not have a five-star Omega Red to bring with me. He had that. So he tested out what Colossus could do against that Crossbones, but he used the Omega Synergy, he used the Juggernaut Synergy, and he did not run suicides and he told me that the damage was comparable so that's something uh to keep in mind if you don't run suicides don't worry about it uh, if you have omega red you want to use him it's more damage juggernaut more damage and of course i also have in the crit team uh, that helps him with those crits so for the most part what i try to do is I'm trying to finish the fight with a special two. That's my goal 
only because of the suicides and I don't want to take all that recoil damage. But I don't do it all the time. All right, so now this fight against Vulture was actually a little tricky. And you'll see why in a minute. All right, so there I was able to parry and heavy him, no problem. All right, see that right there. That miss mechanic that Vulture has is very problematic. Look at that. No furies because I missed. So that is one of the drawbacks, one of uh, his weaknesses, Colossus's weaknesses. If he can't land the first part of that heavy, he's not going to get that fury. That also means that when you're fighting up against, say, stun immune, you can get your heavy in after their heavies sometimes, depending on who you're fighting, but you won't get that fury. You've got to land that first heavy. All right, and you see right there, I just kind of messed up there. It happens. But if you can manage to counter their heavies with his heavy and hit them with the first hit of the heavy as well, then you're golden. All right, and you see there, I was hoping to finish the fight with it, but instead I didn't, took the recoil damage. But you'll notice that I did finish him off with a parry. Yes, Colossus actually does damage on parry. All right, so next up, we've got Night Thrasher here. And I could have added a whole bunch of the energy. I was just feeling lazy, don't mind me. Uh, but Night Thrasher, again, this fight is pretty straightforward. Uh, I decided to go ahead and use up my health potions. And I'm going to tell you a little story of what happened on the final fight. Uh, that final fight, I had to do three times. And I will tell you why when we get there. All right, so here I am. I just uh, healed up just for safety. And because I know it's very possible that I might have to do multiple specials. And I don't want to endanger myself on, in that way. All right, so you can just see the damage that Colossus has been doing all throughout. Uh, I only recently took my Colossus up. And there are some people who doubted my choice. But with my roster, I needed a rank 5 that had the immunities that he had. And as you can see, he dishes out great damage. Now, I already have damage dealers. But my damage dealers don't have the immunities he has. And I know those immunities will come in handy. All right. So there goes Night Thrasher. Wasn't too problematic. All right. Now, next up, we're going to be fighting Heimdall. That is the final fight before the boss. And I remember fighting this fight in one of my later attempts. I'll tell you more on that later. And I tried to counter his special one with my heavy. And I can do that, but I mistimed it one time and went down. All right, yep, that was me, sorry. Uh, but in any case, the fight is pretty straightforward. Um, you're doing the same thing that I was doing before. All right, parry, heavy, and bait out. Now this here, yeah, I took that hit. Nothing uh, I could really do there. I didn't mean to push him to a special uh, two. All right, and here we go. And we didn't finish him off. And this is why I healed up uh, because of stuff like this. All right, and so there we parry, do the heavy, took him out. Okay, so now let me tell you guys why I had to do this fight three times. So. For the first time, which is what you just saw here, this that was my first run, okay? Now, my first run through, I went up against this yellow jacket, and I made a mistake. And it only took, like, one mistake, and I got wrecked. And I'm like, okay, we're not doing this. So, technical difficulties, if you guys know what I mean. And I was able to resume the fight. So I'm like, okay, we'll just do that. 
So um, I had stopped the recording and then started the recording back up for the final fight. When it did the resume, I went ahead and did the fight and I thought everything was fine. But when I went to edit the video, I found out that the final fight, for some reason, it only recorded the very final part, like the victory. I don't know what was going on, how it did that. And I was like, are you kidding me? So I had to go back in here and go through this path again so that I could get this final fight that you're looking at here. So this fight is actually my third fight against this yellow jacket. Now this fight was a little tricky because of the unblockable special one. So if you don't know how to evade that special one of yellow jackets, you're gonna have a bad time uh, in this fight. Also the power gain meant that I wasn't gonna be able to get as many heavies in to build up to my special two as fast as I would like. So what I needed to do was to just keep parry heavy and when I did get a bar of power, when he got a bar of power rather, uh, I needed to back off, get some distance and bait out that special one. Okay, so you see there it was one heavy and then I have one more heavy. Now in variant two, if you have faced these guys here, you know they have a lot of attack and they do a lot of block damage. But you'll notice that even when I was taking block damage, it didn't really hurt Colossus all that much. That's because Colossus is a true tank. Okay, so with those armors like that, he wasn't about to take a lot of damage, even blocked hits, all right? So that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it and enjoyed watching Colossus wreck. All right, so take care, click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day.